Hey everybody, it's James Ferrer from Matt Meg University, and today I'm going to be talking to you admins out there, or maybe you're a developer and you need an admin to get some things set up. But what we're going to be talking about today is setting up the shared SQL instance for your domain. And what this means is that when you go to create a brand new AppMaker application, you get Cloud SQL right out of the box. You don't see drive tables anymore, and it sets it up with just one click. It's, it's actually no different. You just click on your data model and you're creating a SQL database just like that. It does take a little bit of setup from the admin though, and so that's what we're going to show today. So let's head on over to the control panel and we'll show those admins how to get Cloud SQL shared instance running in AppMaker. We're going to start off at admin.google.com. We'll click on apps and then we select the additional Google services. Here we'll find AppMaker. Click on that. And then we're going to be looking for the database settings. Click to open that. And down here you'll see we have an instance ID that we can stick in here. We'll use the instance from the second generation tutorial we did last time. Just find the instance here and use the copy button. And then we can just paste that right into our database settings. Now I've already set mine up so I have one here, but if you were to paste yours this is what you can see, we would click save. Now when we open a new AppMaker application, we can simply click on the plus key to create a new data model. You'll see that we have only Cloud SQL available to us now. We don't have drive tables at all anymore. Now we'll just click the next key, type in a name for our model, and that's it. We have our Cloud SQL instance created. So you might be wondering where this is all set up. So let's click on the settings and take a look at the database. And you'll see we have this database key here. All right, so we can match that back over in our SQL project. You'll see you get quite a few in your shared instance. And it's located right here. And it also creates a user for us as well with the same instance ID and its own user uh, username and password. I wouldn't recommend changing this because that's probably going to break the connection. But just to let you know that it, does, it is creating users and it's creating uh, databases within that single instance. If you're looking for the fastest way to go from beginner to expert in AppMaker, then head on over to AppMaker University and check out our bootcamp. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest in AppMaker news. Thanks for watching.